guys, Forest Bear Studios here. And today we're doing StarCraft 64. We only have one controller, so uh, I'm gonna have to play by myself. Good. You probably wreck me. <laughs> I'm gonna play Protoss, and I'm gonna figure out how to play StarCraft with a controller, which is gonna be interesting. So, I know this was in StarCraft 2 around the time when it actually first came out, and I played an online battle against you. And I was never too big on StarCraft, I was never very good, but I, I was maybe mediocre at best. I remember facing off against uh, Atkist, and I remember, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna win this match, I'm gonna win this match. Like, I went super tryhard. I did my scouting and everything, and I'm like, okay, I have no idea where his base is. He must yeah. have lifted off his command center, went literally to the corner of the map, and, which he did. I was no, right it was about an that. island. It was an island in between us. Or, yeah, it was an island that was surrounded by water, so it was the here's my thought shaped. process. So, here's my thought process. Okay, so Akis is in the corner of the map on an island with no other with nothing he must be building air units in order to come destroy me i'm going to build anti-air yeah so it turns out he did <laughs> lift off the command center to the islands in the but uh, of the map. only only five of my SUVs. the sixth one stayed behind <laughs> and built a barracks <laughs> uh, with a what was it a dual reactor or something like that yeah so twice the amount of marines and it was just pretty close to your base too biggest <laughs> piss off <laughs> Ever, I lost that because all I had was fucking anti-air. All these missile turrets. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> and they just couldn't shoot down at the marines at their feet. I hated myself after that game. I told myself never again. And here we are with StarCraft 64. <laughs> yeah, we kind of went back in time a little bit. Or forward. Like, to the point where they've done 3 to 63 and then they released 64. And it's got this retro, low graphics that look like they're a lot lower than StarCraft 1. Pretty sure it is. <laughs> These are amazing. I rem I like in my own head. I remember we're renting this from a, a video headquarters, um, and. I remember renting video games. I know, right? <laughs> Back in the day. But I, I'm, I'm serious. I remember renting this game and having quite a bit of fun with it. And now I look at it and it's just... Wow. <laughs> like, a little blast I, from the past for you right there. <laughs> I, I like the PC version. And I'm pretty sure it's higher res. But looking at the N64 StarCraft, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. Nah. I like the classic look of a lot of games, but this... <laughs> yeah, it's a little much, I'd have to say. I will, I hate to say it, but yeah, it's a little much. Nah. I don't even know what's going on right now. I haven't even been paying attention to it. Uh, apparently they ran out of probes or something. Oh, I remember this. So we gotta build probes. Yeah, that's right. And photon cannons. That's right. Dang it, Phoenix, you had one job. One job, defend this, and you couldn't even do that. It's sad. I love my photon cannons. I like cheesing people in their own base. <laughs> that was such a great tactic. It was. Like, I'm gonna build a pylon and a cannon in your base and hope you don't scout me. <laughs> that, kids, is why you always scout. <laughs> are, are you stuck? Show me the money. Show me the money. Power overwhelming. How do we even activate cheats on an N64 controller? Black sheep wall. I'm not sure you could. Food actually. for thought. Yeah, it's probably. There is no cow level. There isn't. No. No, there is not. <laughs> Sad. You can Sad day in the, the world. Yeah, you can tell who the cheater is. <laughs> yeah. Though, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> you can tell how Frosty beat the campaign. <laughs> Operation Seawall. <laughs> I don't know how I remember all of this still. It's because you're a cheater. Yeah. Actually, maybe I really did cheat my way through the campaign. It's the campaign. Why would you need to? <laughs> I wouldn't say needs to. More like wanted to go along with the story. 
You know what? I just want to beat the story with one invincible <laughs> zealot. <laughs> Dark Templar, thank you very much. You, you know, when it's invincible, it doesn't really matter what it is. <laughs> no, but it with a pro. except that it can't hit air, so you got that going. Yeah, that's, that's problem. True. Yeah. He's got to eventually take out all their bases. Yeah. <laughs> which a Dark Templar can do much faster than a Zealot can. Yeah, but Zealot, you can get out faster, you know? No, I don't. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm stuck on. Pylons? Yeah. <laughs> Just noticed? <laughs> well, it's... Yeah. Pylons. Oh, Stop. man. This, this Okay, this actually is a blast to the past. How do wow. I cancel? I'd like the resources. I want to say click on them, but you seem to be trying to. Hey! There we, we go. Found it. <laughs> These have the dig in menus. It's not that difficult. Build. <laughs> not enough minerals. Pylon. Not enough minerals. Not yet. Enough. Not enough minerals. Well, maybe not now. You guys need to get information. You require additional pylons. He did. I, did. Well, I still do, but. Yeah. I built another. Probe. Food you for thought. Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> Cheater. You're just gonna reply to everything I do with the cheat code that does it, aren't you? I I, I should actually. <laughs> All the cheat codes. Come on, you know you want to. What are you doing? Out I there? do, but I I remember. Oh, those look at that portrait. Ones, but which one? Oh, hey, nice. <laughs> I think they move in, uh, in the, the PC. PC? Yeah, they do. Yeah. Man, just the way those walkers walk, man. It's like those, uh, those little jumping spiders. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that would have been a great animation for them to have. Just leap up the cliffs. They need more uh, legs to do that. Because they yeah, always put those. Off. Come on. They got to have something going for them. Oh, there is a ramp down there. I guess I can go that way then. It always amused me that a civilization as technologically advanced as the Protoss had trouble against humans. And liked to use melee weapons. <laughs> yeah. Instead of psionic weapons? Yeah. We have these higher energy projectiles. I want a sword. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, a gun might be. But a this bit sword better. looks badass. <laughs> Look at it. It's a sword. <laughs> But with psionic energy around it. What the? Come on. <laughs> I see you found the. Getting up, getting up uh, cliffs is a little difficult. It appears. Everyone attack that. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Well, kill it with energy weapon. But you know, same thing. Fires. Come on. <laughs> it's just like. They just bury it. Chill, chilling. I guess so, yeah. The best strategy ever, right? Leave them by themselves and spread out very widely. Yeah. And then burrow. And then unburrow in the middle of the army. <laughs> you gotta know, wait for that. Uh, I love doing that in two with banelings. Just burrow all the banelings. Wait till an army walks over top and then just pop them all out. Pop. <laughs> That's a nice army you have there. Not. That was an nice army. <laughs> Not enough minerals. And now it's just a pile of Not melting. enough minerals. What's mine is mine. Quick, gotta get out of the menu. Everyone, it's a cheat code for minerals. Yeah, we. I think we figured that out. Frosty. Everyone, we gotta defend the. <laughs> he needs more minerals. You have a cheat code from this <laughs> overlord. Immediately. You know what you should do? Send a zealot off there. Or breathe deep. <laughs> <laughs> what would you ask for You could show me the money. Nah. Not frosty. No. Yeah, fine. It's game over. Right, that's, uh, game over. Man. That's, that's pretty horrible shape. I don't know. Where's my guy who's building stuff? I don't remember. Where's the last thing you built? This, but I don't see a guy by it. I, I was clicking buttons, but then there was an attack on my 
I was playing my cannon, buttons, so I was distracted. I may have to the map. <laughs> right, right of. Let's uh, build more cannons, the front ups. You know what I think you should have done, or actually can still do? What? You should modify the phase variance. <laughs> is that like, <laughs> is that a cheat code thing? Yes. Uh, and once again, the cheater speaks. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to run out of those, are you? Oh, I eventually will. I'm uh, I'm running out. I think I actually did run out. Um, I know there's more, just those are the ones I always use. I mean, those are the commonly <laughs> known <for> ones. <laughs> Good recovery. I mean, yeah, those are the ones people know. Uh... <laughs> Gotta fight. Fight to the last man. See, Frosty's kind of like that devil on your shoulder when you're having a hard time. You're like, oh, if I just cheated, this would be so easy. And he just pops up over there and starts like whispering. If I fight to the last man, I mean retreat. <laughs> you're staying alive. Uh, 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 uh. Staying alive. Staying alive is also a cheat code. Is it? Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> I can't double click to. Just lets you play after you win or lose. Which is entirely pointless. I don't want to play by it myself. It is kind of pointless, but. <laughs> it is very much pointless. Unless you're, like, really curious to see what happens after you win or lose. I build a cybernetics core. Actually, there was one cheat code that I didn't really understand, and I, I remember trying it out, but I didn't know what the difference was. Um, so there's Black Sheep Wall, which reveals everything on the map, right? Well, I don't know how to cheat. Fine, well. <laughs> there was another cheat. I think it was like a w War Ain't What It Used To Be, I think it was. War is never what it used to be. Yeah. War, um, war always changes. Yeah, but... I, I don't. It did the same thing. I think Black Sheep Wall was better, but I don't remember how it was better. I think I only tried it once because I learned Black Sheep Wall first. So I'm like, this is stupid. I'm just going to use Black Sheep Wall. Black Sheep Wall. And Operation Sea Wall. <laughs> and show me the money. <laughs> and just like every cheat code that they offered. There's a mission select one as well that I think I've used before, but... Oh, so you didn't even play the campaign. <laughs> you just selected the, the last mission. mission. Beat it with your cheat codes and call it good, right? <laughs> Do you even know who James Rayner is? Yeah, he's the main character of StarCraft 2. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, technically he is. Well, for points of liberty. Yeah... Yeah. <laughs> the first one. <laughs> Dragoons. Let's build like an army of dragoons because you probably don't need anything. Are you else. still not finished this level? I would have been done like the well, you started. I start with like no probes. <laughs> and I don't use cheat codes. Yeah, Frosty wouldn't have even bothered finding the base. He would just made himself immortal, walked over to the That enemy. is a lie. I got a basic handling of the controls first. And then I went into <laughs> online games. And got your ass handed to you. Yeah, I was a little... Yeah, my feelings were hurt very much. <laughs> I think I was like, I don't know, 11, 12. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. You, well. you learned that your cheat codes no longer saved you. <laughs> Actually, I think I did, to be honest with you. <laughs> I don't remember. There should have been a game mode where you could use cheats. Actually, it probably wouldn't end well. No, no, it wouldn't. Because it's... So, well, I mean, you'd be using Immortals. You'd yeah, but immortal. in a custom game, it would be awesome. Well, Actually, for the like two Immortal two armies that's, yeah. bashing into each other. That's <laughs> probably one of my favorite things about uh, StarCraft was, though, the fact that... This guy has to live. The custom games were there. customizable. Extremely customizable. I believe that is the meaning of custom games. Well... Customizable. Like, it just makes sense, right? No, it doesn't. I mean, have you played games like... League of Legends custom game, you can't customize anything. Well, you kind of can. In what way? Play the same game. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, you can make the computer smarter or dumber. Just climb up this. Thing. Well, you can now, but that was a feature that was added <laughs> later on. Quiet! I'm trying to make a point. 
Can well, for the very here? first time, I think I'm actually winning. I don't think I can build it. But you're cheating. sad. Because you're a cheater. I'm yeah, not you're a cheater, a cheater anymore. You've been quoting cheats this entire video. Yeah, basically. <laughs> I think you quoted Come a on, cheat let's... before you even said who you were. I need something for nothing, damn it. <laughs> Is that cheat code? Yep. <laughs> Everything's a cheat code. <laughs> I want that to be cheat code. What, cheat code? Or <laughs> everything's a cheat code? Everything's a cheat code. Are you dropping off Zerg on top of my base? Oh, yeah. Beside it. Four cannons. I do need more cannons. You gotta move outside the base. All of you gotta move outside the base. It takes a few button presses to actually get them to move outside the base. God, these... As you can tell, because these guys, <laughs> I don't even know where they're going. I think they realize that too. They're like, oh wait. Have you ever seen that webcomic where it shows a marine and he's looking at these two signs and one says to safety and the other one says to certain death? And he's just like, let's do this! He walks over to certain death and just gets destroyed by a whole bunch of Hydralisks. Sounds about right. <laughs> Bainlings, Bainlings, yeah, I remember the pathing in this game was uh, questionable. Not, yeah, yeah, it was it was pretty questionable. You don't need pathing where we're going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, towards certain path. Boop, 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 or, you know, boop. just nowhere or dead end or complete opposite direction. That okay, you I'm pretty sure you can wipe the Zerg base out now. With like this army, probably. I'm hundred. So, nah, I'm 90% sure. So, like, because I, I remember this level, and believe it or not, I actually beat it without cheating. I don't believe that. I don't believe that either. Okay, taking the consideration the hundreds of ar masses of army I had, pretty sure you could have done a f with a fraction of it. So, based on my memories, you should be able to wipe them out by now with that army. Is that a cheat? What? No. <laughs> Spawn Dragoon. Spawn not, Carrier. Not a cheat. <laughs> well, it should be. <laughs> Just access direct commands to the game. Win. <laughs> That's, uh, but, um, there's no cow level. It's wins? Yep. Oh, I, I'm, I'm not surprised you know that. <laughs> cheat. See, but the good thing about being a Protoss is when you do win, you usually wait until you have just such overwhelming odds that you don't even have to do anything, you just walk your army and just destroy everything. I'm a Rex Duff! <laughs> guys, come on. You guys got this. This is the Geth. Everybody group up again. Continue to attack. Why do they have this poor colony? I don't think I'm capable of building air units, so you probably don't need air defense on this level. You know what? They're prepared. In case you could. <laughs> in case spawn, spawn carrier was actually a thing. <laughs> yeah, in case there's some cheat that you could use. Uh, Frosty, you want to let us know if there is one? <laughs> as soon as I can think of it, sure. What, you don't have it memorized? No, <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I only really needed to know the basic 10 out of, like, 20 cheats. 12 cheats. Right. Pretty sure. <laughs> the basic <laughs> 10 cheats. Out of 10, or 11, or 12. This is, like, these controls are just, uh... I'm feeling a little, uh... Awkward. There's, 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 no, little there's no online on the N64, so, like, what would you even do? Play with friends. That's silly, Frosty. Who's friends? Who? Actually, one thing I really... How, how do you play with friends? On the same screen. You're going to play Actually, an <laughs> RTS on the same screen. No, you can. Two people control the same uh, army. Well, I, was it thinking, was actually... I was thinking verse, but okay. Well, even then, though, it's like, okay, it's he wants screen. to look at the top of the map. Well, no, then it's split face. screen, so... That's actually one thing that was actually really awesome about the StarCraft 64. I keep saying the Starcast. Because I want to say 
like the N64 or something, but then I realized, well, that's dumb, and then it comes out as the N64, and that sounds even dumber. Yeah. Why did I say the N64? I meant the StarCraft. Actually, yeah. I'm probably going to tell them to move here first, otherwise they're going <laughs> to go God knows where. <laughs> probably gonna find an ultralisk and walk back to base with it <laughs> <laughs> hey guys i found a d pet i think it's a dog can we keep it <laughs> only if you clean up after it just starts wrecking everything how to play protoss build dragoons <laughs> mm, i don't think that's quite right i'm pretty sure it's build pylons <laughs> well you know pylons, but only to get the Dragoons. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Actually, Dragoons were my favorite units. <laughs> well, they were... They did everything, so... Well, you have giant they shoot spider air, waters that shoot... They shoot ground. They shoot themselves. I mean, they can. Capable of it. Actually, are they capable of shooting them yep. themselves? Yep. I f uh, what was it? You had to attack move on one of your units? Yeah, yeah. You but can you, you can't do it to yourself. Like I yes, you can. Maybe not in the N64 version. No, because... No, like, you can attack... Like, you can have the other Dragoons attack. Oh, you mean, like... But you can't have a Dragoon attack itself. Yeah, no. Of course you can't do that. That's stupid. Well, I don't know. You can command your army to destroy itself, so... <laughs> so apparently not in the... It's yeah, but before. there's always one man standing. Always. Are you still cheating? What? No. <laughs> That's medieval, one, man. You know. Do do fighting on ire. Well, you're not doing it. Oh, oh you're victorious. Say, you're not doing any fighting. Told you're sitting you, in bath. Base. You could have ended this like 20 minutes. At, well, maybe not quite <laughs> 20 minutes ago, unless you're cheating. But there's no cheat. Codes on the N64 Frosty. No cheat codes, but there are cheats. I forget how to access them, but. <laughs> Through really annoying button presses. Probably. Wouldn't surprise me. The Zerg beat you in resources. Into the flames. So we're doing the next mission, or you, you nah. done with the. You done with I'm uh, done with these controls. <laughs> <laughs> it it is interesting to play, uh. The low graphic version of StarCraft. Man, this was this was pretty intense. <laughs> With a controller. Away. Sometimes it's fun to stab yourself in the <laughs> eyes while you handcuff yourself, <laughs> but uh. <laughs> I think All one right. level's about enough. Well, I think that's game over, man. Yeah. And with that instant loss, we will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.